here. I know no one's gonna understand this, but I'm gonna put this. I made this meme. Let me put it in the chat. Ready? Zare. It would have the shield. Pretty, uh, it was, it's a pretty aggressive Zare, more than a safer Zare, but it's able to hit and test the shield both so well. It's kind of one of those things that, you know, adds a little bit of the extra layer on both Young Link and Tim Link. So, yeah, Young Link and Tim Link because they have a Zare as well. The character that has a really good set of tools to kind of just like continuously zone through and pull that rock. Did, did, did his tries to get his Travis Scott burger? We'll find out soon. Put up there. Do I? <laughs> no, I'm not trying. I'm just trying to be quiet. I have my voice lower, so to speak. Keep my voice at a certain uh, volume. Control my voice through volume, I guess. Personal volume, not on Discord. Oh, that was preemptive up there. I like it though, just because, like, usually you're gonna mash out and then you'll pop out at the back hit of uh, Rope Arm, so Marco still gets to survive. He has a bomb with the up B, so he'll be fun with the blow up. Yep. Keep in mind, you only get another up special, you do not get another jump after the bomb goes up. Close. I like it though. He could work for the fourth match just because the boomerang is on a throw back, and he's gonna confirm just like that. Good on him to keep out tossing those projectiles. Rob has to fight one of them. And even though he can reflect one of those projectiles, the fact the boomerang is actually get I think the projector or the reflector for a robo arm is only in the front of Rob and not in the back of Rob. So, good, good on Marco to just keep that over his face. Oh man, he is just tossing it out. He is not afraid to keep him out. He's like, he's like, one of these will connect and I will get rid of the projectile at the same time. I am risking it. He went for a full cross up and pulled the down to see if he can get the upper after the bomb throw. It's kind of what makes Marco one of those big dominant threats. Yep, that's a shield check with the forward smash on the boomerang. That's what I'm talking about. Finally here with the 1 -0 over Beery. Pretty tough stuff. I mean, all links are really, really, really difficult to deal with. Um, contrary to popular belief, they are not Wi Fi characters, though. They are very, very not, much not Wi Fi characters. Did you get a Travis Scott burger? No. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Travi patty. No. Unfortunately. Yeah, I saw Marco won that game pretty solidly though. Oh. Inkling. I don't think I've seen Viri play anyone that's not Rob. 
actually really interesting. Um, you really want to know how to put up this matchup in terms of like, is it even? Is it Young Link's favor? I'm sorry, Tim Link's favor. It's kind of interesting just because Tim Link actually has kind of like the speed, not necessarily to contest Inkling, but to kind of like slowly keep up with Inkling and then put that with the projectiles that Tim Link has. Inkling can have a tough time trying to approach, especially if yeah. Marco plays his cards right with bombs. So this is a little bit more on Tim Link's favor. It's just. The thing about Inkling is like Inkling gets that extra layer of like, speed, but also like the character can snowball you with air with really good aerials, disjointed back air, and of course the inking mechanic. So, but overall, I think Tooling kind of takes the cake on this one. Uh, yeah, it, this is difficult for uh, to, or Inkling to approaching the conventional ways that they're used to. Yeah. But w once they get the hit, it's really good. Also have really strong edge guarding tools, but uh, yeah. yeah, right now Marco's playing the matchup really well. Yeah, it's it's really difficult too because like I said, like Inkling has to get in with aerials and ROM, like just base speed and aerials as well. But the problem is like the thing about Tulink and Young Link in specific, their aerials are pretty solid in terms of disjoints, but they're also like. You have to worry about their projectiles and the fact that they have the speed to back themselves up. Compared to you, to compare to Link, where he doesn't necessarily able to run away, to Link and Young Link have the speed to kind of move around with Inkling or around Inkling. So. Good call, but I'm very fine. Gets the forward smash, forward smash, forward strong too. Got a little tiny disjoint, but pretty strong. Nice as that's reaching for the deepest forward smash. Good play level for Marco. He kind of knew what to do after this. Yeah. Marco knew that he wouldn't get punished for going for that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, but it was kind of cool. funny, you know, because um, Viri just was waiting for the boomerang the whole time yeah. while he was charging. He didn't have to wait for the boomerang at all, really. He could just dash up and hit him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was the biggest problem too. And I think Marco kind of knew like, oh, you waited for Boomerang? <laughs> Big mistake. Yeah. And that forward smash from Tulink is has some weird range. Like you wouldn't expect it to be short, but it's got some range to it because it has a little bit of a lunge. Very similar to Wolf F Smash in that sense where it ooh, has a small lunge forward, but also its power is ridiculous. Yeah, it's really st strange to see that animation when you look at you know, Lincoln Young Links. Oh my god. Yeah, I've never even um, seen I've never even seen Tim Link's UB kill like that. <laughs> I guess all of their UBs kill like that now. Yeah. I think Young Link I'm sorry. Only Link really gets the the um the back hit of hero spin to push you forward for the kill. All links have it, but obviously Lynx is the biggest. And all their hero spins kill at the last hit. The last hit has the biggest knockback. And then on the ground, the starting hit has the the, the most knockback. Yeah. That was nice. The bombing still be. Wait, what's going on? Why uh, did you... 